Hey y'all, this is Jeremiah, pastor at Centennial ARP. Thanks for tuning in for today's video devotional out of Proverbs. We're in chapter 7. We're going to read verses 6 through 9 today. For at the window of my house I have looked out through my lattice, and I have seen among the simple. I have perceived among the youths a young man lacking sense, passing along the street near her corner, taking the road to her house in the twilight, in the evening, at the time of night and darkness. A couple things. Uh, I've mentioned this previously uh, in video devotionals, but it's important for us to remember uh, the uh, book that we're in, which is uh, wisdom literature. It's poetry, uh, the Proverbs. That There is wisdom that's being given uh, in the form of a, s- a father to uh, sons. And yet, as I've mentioned before, this is uh, uh, really God giving wisdom to his people by the Holy Spirit as he's inspiring the pen of old King Solomon. And so uh, these verses here, uh, Proverbs chapter 7, verses 6 through 9, it's addressing a very certain and particular sin, one uh, of sexual immorality uh, and and how one can fall into uh, such things. And yet, at the same time, there is vast application for the Christian life uh, that goes well beyond just one sin or one set of sins. And in fact, uh, there is such deep wisdom here. uh, It's really one of the most uh, formative pieces uh, of uh, by far of the proverbs for myself, uh, but but I think also of Scripture, uh, and, and it's very important for us as believers in the Lord Jesus who have been given eyes to see and ears to hear the truth. And the truth is that we cannot do it on our own; uh, that we have a sin nature that has bound us so tightly uh, that we couldn't free ourselves into the truth. We needed God to work a work work in us. And when that happened, uh, what uh, we sometimes refer to as being born again, when when we believe, when we are born again, when we become a new creation, when God gives us faith, when he changes our stony heart to a beating heart, what, whatever terminology you want to use that you find in the scripture, when, when we are changed, when God gives us that faith we need, when we look to him and see capital T truth, we can begin to recognize our own ease of transition back into sin. This is addressed quite often, especially in the New Testament, but also in the Old Testament. And and here for me, and perhaps for you today, dear Christian, as you devote yourself uh, with this word right here, Proverbs chapter 7, verses 6 through 9, uh, uh, for me, as I looked at this uh, as a much younger man, when I had come to faith, it was revelatory. Uh, it was a revolution, truly, in my life uh, when I uh, had the humility to look upon a passage like this and place myself not in the capacity of the Father giving wisdom, but in the uh, one being addressed, uh, the Son or indeed the youth, or indeed the simple, the one lacking sense. Uh, Dear Christian, uh, it's very hard to say, and I don't want you to be offended, uh, but, but we lack sense. And it only takes a little while of self-evaluation, of uh, looking at our track record to recognize our lack of sense, uh, our simple nature, our youth, even when we find ourselves progressed in age. And when it comes to sin, the one passing along the street near her corner, the one taking the road close to the sins that get us, the one doing such a thing when we know the time is right for us to turn our way, our eyes away from the Lord, for the doors to close and the blinds to close, for the lights to go off, for no one to know what it is that we're doing, for sin to rise up, take hold, and rebind us. We fall into that so easily. Dear Christian, today, as you think about your belief in Jesus, as you think about the fact that he is the light for you, that he is your Lord and your King, as we are seeking to do 
rightly, as we seek righteousness, as we seek justice, as we seek to remove ourselves from those sinful things, be wary and be humble, for we are simple. We are youthful in nature when it comes to the things of righteousness, and we have a good and heavenly Father who holds us fast and holds us tight and constantly warns us with his word. And we see that here in Proverbs chapter 7, verses 6 through 9. I hope that it is as strong a word of warning as it was for me. I hope that it is for you too today. Blessings as you devote yourself to God in such a way.